Okay, welcome to part seven in uh, building a 3D game. We've got a platform, we've got a sky dome, we've got a camera that uh, when I hit P, I can move around, okay? I can long press and launch things at a structure that I've built. The next step is to give the, uh, the player uh, the ability just to move a little bit around, I guess, and uh, that could be important. And this is, you know, where you can start to exercise some creativity. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add uh, some keyboard sensors. Okay, we're going to do this a long way. I'm going to go add uh, several of them. I'll add four. One, two, three, and then four. Okay, and uh, I'm going to scroll down. I'm holding down shift right now while I'm rolling, by the way, to get up and down there. And I'm going to map the W key. Okay, I'm going to map... Uh, let's take a look and see what I've got here. W and then um, A, and then S, okay, so I've got W, A, S, and probably we're going to want D too. So I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to add one more keyboard sensor, W, A, S, and D. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add separate AND, and uh, gates for these, one, two, three, and then four. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll link these up. We'll just link the first one for right now. Um, and then over here for the actuator, we're going to make this motion. Basically, W, A, S, and D are going to allow the user, okay, to move uh, in, you know, a given direction. All right. So, um, here we've got uh, motion and location, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to try a value in the second field down here of 0.1, just to see what I get when I press W now. So I'm going to hit P and then W, and I move up with that, okay? There we go. That's exactly what I wanted, uh, which means that the S key, okay, um, down here is going to have the exact opposite, right? So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to attach this to number 3, goes to number 3. And I'm going to add a new actuator over here. And we'll call it motion. And basically, that's uh, that is the goal. I'm just going to add W and S for this right now, for this tutorial. Um, and okay, so if if one takes us up in the second column, right? You just got to kind of take a look at what you've got. Obviously, um, I'm going to make this a negative value. I'm going to put a negative 0.1. Okay. And uh, so now the S key, hopefully, will take us down. So let me hit P. W goes up. S goes down. And uh, we can kind of launch at different rates. And it will um, launch because we parented the empty to the camera early on. Um, it will launch from the location of the empty, but along the x-axis as it relates to the grid. Okay, so I've got my mouse moving around. I'm able to move up and down. Go ahead and build in the A key and the D key so you can move up, down, left, and right. And that is uh, the extent of part seven, simply being able to move your camera.